Chapter 7 The Decimal System Once Look at the place value chart for the numerals 1432, 142, 13 and 1. The place value of 1 in 1 is 1. The place value of 1 in 13 is 110 is equal to 10 into 1. The place value of 1 in 142 is 100 which is equal to 10 into 110. The place value of 1 in 1432 is 1000 which is equal to 10 into 100. Thus, the place value of a digit becomes 10 times as it moves from right to left by one place. What happens to the place value of a digit as it moves one step from left to right? The place value of 1 in 1432 is 1000. The place value of 1 in 142 is 100 which is equal to 1 by 10 into 1000. The place value of 1 in 13 is 110 which is equal to 1 by 10 into 100. Thus, the place value of digit becomes 110 as the digit moves from left to right by one place. Tenths What is the place value of the digit 1 when it moves further right by one place? It has to be 1 divided by 10. 1 divided by 10 is written as 1 by 10 and read as 1 tenth. We also write 1 tenth as 0.1. This is read as 0.1. 2 tenths is written as 0.2 and read as 0.2. 5 tenths is written as 0.5 and read as 0.5. We always write 0.1 and 0.2 as 0.1 and 0 0.2 to show that the number in the ones place is 0. These are read as 0 0.1 and 0 0.2. Now let us write the number 1111.1 in the place value chart. The dot placed between the numeral in the ones place and the numeral in the tens place is called a decimal point. Hundreds and thousands. Once again, we have a place value chart to study. Following is the place value chart extended to tens. Let us study it carefully for the numerals 432, 43, and 4.3. Place value of 3 in 432 is 30. Place value of 3 in 43 is 3. That is 30 divided by 10. Place value of 3 in 4.3 is 3 by 10. That is 3 divided by 10. Clearly, if 3 moves one place to the right of the ones place, it is at the tens place. If 3 moves one place further to the right of the tens place, it is at the hundredths place. Then its place value is 3 divided by 100, which is written as 3 by 100 and read as 3 hundredths. 3 hundredths in the decimal system is written as 0 0.03 and read as 0 0.03 If 3 moves further from 100's place 
to the right by one place. Its place value is 3 divided by 1000. This is written as 3 by 1000 and read as 3 thousandths. In the decimal system, 3 thousand is written as 0 0.003 and read as 0 0.003. Now, the place value chart can be extended to 100 and 1000. 625.328 is read as 625.328 and not as 625.328. Expanded form of decimals. Study the following place value chart of the numerals 456.79, 3032.602. In the expanded form, the above numbers are written as follows. 456.79 is equal to 4 into 100 plus 5 into 10 plus 6 into 1 plus 7 into 1 by 10 plus 9 into 1 by 100 which is equal to 400 plus 50 plus 6 plus 7 by 10 plus 9 by 100 3032.6 602 which is equal to 3 into 1000 plus 0 into 100 plus 3 into 10 plus 2 into 1 plus 6 into 1 by 10 plus 0 into 1 by 100 plus 2 into 1 by 1000 which is equal to 3000 plus 0 plus 30 plus 2 plus 6 by 10 plus 0 by 100 plus 2 by 1000 like and unlike decimals you know that fractions having the same denominators are called like fractions thus 2 by 10 5 by 10 15 by 10 and 105 by 10 are like fractions. Fractions having different denominators are called unlike fractions. Thus, 2 by 10, 1 by 5 and 20 by 100 are unlike fractions. Just as we have like and unlike fractions, we also have like and unlike decimals. Decimals having the same number of decimal places are called like decimals. Decimals with different number of decimal places are unlike decimals. Thus, 0 0.7, 1.1 and 25.6 are like decimals. So are 0 0.21, 6.56 and 200.48. But 0 0.7, 0 0.21, 6.323 are unlike decimals. Converting unlike decimals to like decimals. Consider 6.5 and 0 0.26. They are unlike decimals. We can convert 6.5 into an equivalent decimal with two decimal places by putting a zero in the hundredths place. That is 6.5 which is equal to 6.50. Now both 6.50 and 0 0.26 have two decimal places. They are like decimals. To convert 2.5, 8.03 and 8.352 into like decimals, we have to convert 2.5 and 8.03 into equivalent decimals with three decimal places. Add zeros to equalize with other decimals. 
add two zeros to 2.5 which gives you 2.500 and add one zero to 8.03 and make it 8.030 2.5 which is converted to 2.500 8.03 which is converted as 8.030 now 2.500 8.030 and 8.352 are like decimals ordering of decimals we know how to compare two fractions let us use our knowledge to compare decimals study the following table carefully first convert the fractions into decimals and then compare the numbers 3 1 by 10 2 1 by 10 1 1 by 10 when converted into decimals gives you 3.1 2.1 1.1 The number with the bigger whole number portion is bigger 2 3 by 10 2 by 10 1 by 10 When converted into decimals gives you 0 0.3 0 0.2 0 0.1 if the whole number portion is the same, the decimal with the bigger digit in the tens place is bigger. 3 3 by 100 2 by 100 1 by 100 When converted into decimals gives you 0 0.03 0 0.02 0 0.01 If the digit in the tens place is also the same. The decimal with the bigger digit in the hundreds place is bigger. 4 3 by 1000 2 by 1000 1 by 1000 When converted into decimals gives you 0 0.003 0 0.002 0 0.001 if the whole number portion and the digits in the tens place and the hundreds place are the same, compare the thousand place. The decimal with the bigger digit in the thousands place is bigger. Now study the following. As you all know, 31 is greater than 21 and 21 is greater than 11. In the same way, 3.1 is greater than 2.1 and 2.1 is greater than 1.1. We see that decimals can be compared in the same way as whole numbers. First, compare the whole number portion. If they are the same, compare the 10th digit. If they are also the same, compare the 100th digit and so on. Let us see some examples. Sum 1. Compare 3.23 and 3.21. 3.23 which is equal to 3 ones, 2 tenths, 3 hundredths. 3.21 which is equal to 3 ones, 2 tenths, 1 hundredth. Compare the whole number portion. You have three ones in both the numbers. Compare the tens digit. You have two tens in both the numbers. Compare the hundredth digit. You have three hundredths in the first number and one hundredth in the second number. Three hundredths is greater than one hundredth. Therefore, 3.23 is greater than 3.21. Sum 2. Compare 20.351 and 20.315. The whole number portions are the same. The 10 digits are the same. The 100 digit in 20.351 
is greater than the 100 digit in 20.315. 500 is greater than 100. Therefore, 20.351 is greater than 20.315. Sum 3. Compare 0 0.75 and 0 0.753. Here the whole number portion and the digits in the 10th and the 100th place are the same. The digit in the 1000th place in 0 0.75 is 0. Recall that 0 0.75 can be written as 0 0.750 since 3000 is greater than 0 thousand. 0 0.753 is greater than 0 0.75. Sum 4. Arrange the decimals in ascending order 0 0.7, 0 0.55, 0 0.06, 1.01. Using the rules we have learned the order is 0 0.06, 0 0.55, 0 0.7, 1.01. Word problems in decimals. Sum 1. There are 20 stars. A quarter of them are red. How many stars are red? How many are not red? Answer Total number of stars which is equal to 20 Number of red stars which is equal to a quarter of 20 stars which is equal to 1 by 4 into 20 is equal to 5 stars Therefore, number of non-red stars is equal to 20 minus 5 which is equal to 15. Sum 2. Ravi wants a pencil. It costs rupees 2. He gives a 1 rupee coin, 1 half rupee coin and 1 quarter rupee coin. Is it enough? Answer. Cost of a pencil which is equal to rupees 2. Money paid which is equal to rupees 1 plus Rupees 0 0.50 plus rupees 0 0.25, which is equal to rupees 1.75. Since rupees 2 is more than rupees 1.75, money paid is not enough.